Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel and uh, one of my top 10 for receivers uh, is the AirSpy HF Plus Discovery. So uh, AirSpy uh, is a uh, well-known company for SDRs and the HF Plus Discovery is absolutely a nice performer and a nice software-defined receiver. It uh, has good performance and according to a lot of people that use it apparently maybe better performance in some ways on some bands especially medium wave and long wave than the SDR play and my own personal tests um, I mean it's just receiving and you know looking at it I don't have instrumentation I don't look at numbers for me to perform about the same and if I would have to choose between one in my personal opinion of my views of what they are uh, it would be simply well. There's a little thing, a few things that make take them apart. If you want to have a wide range or a wide band receiver that could be used for VHF UHF, you'll definitely want to go to the SDR play instead because SDR play goes up to two gigahertz. This one has VHF range. It's a very limited range, so it's going to give you some VHF reception, but of very limited nature. It's not really meant for that. You'll use it more for HF, medium wave, and long wave. Uh, the advantage of the SDR, the uh, AirSpy HF Plus Discovery, is that it can be used with the SDR Sharp software. And that is a major positive point if you want to try different plugins. It probably is a software that has the biggest amount of plugins of all the software for um, any SDRs. So in some ways, there's an advantage of using it there. Uh, the SDR play devices cannot, but it's not because they don't want to. It's because AirSpy, which owns the uh, uh, SDR Sharp software, doesn't want it. And that is, for me, sad to see that they have these sorts of bad practice. Performance overall is good. What will appeal to you probably with the SD, the AirSpy HF Plus Discovery is its size. Compared to an SDR Play device, it is much smaller. So if you're looking to create the ultimate portable SDR by yourself with a small tablet and all of that, yes, the AirSpy HF Plus is very, very small. I mean, it's, 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 it's big like a... Uh, probably like a, a matchbox, a small matchbox. Uh, has one antenna input, and uh, but performs very well in general. Um, I, I can't complain of anything on the receive end and on the performance I get out of it. So that definitely is a point to look at. Uh, one other positive point that I have to say uh, is probably interesting compared to the SDR play devices is the fact that in the low frequency range, one, two, three megahertz, you will not see any images or spurious signals. Uh, where the uh, SDR play might play tricks on you, below four or five megahertz, you might have images. And that is something that is possible. So, uh, be wary of that. Um, it's it's the performance is still great. It's just there these things exist. I have not seen them on the Air Spy HF Plus Discovery, um, so you have to be fair on the different reviews, of course. So it makes my top ten. Um, I personally don't like the practices of Air Spy. I find that they are a little uh, in the try to get everybody out of the way type of business so you know i've mentioned it a few times that i probably would never buy another air spy device again but i had to have one because i had to test it and and talk about it for everybody and i have to admit whether you like or not a company or practices um, i have to admit that the air spy hf plus discovery is a great performer uh, here you see it with sdr console v3 if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.